What's up, y'all? It's your girl Jay. Love, and I'm back again with a YouTube video. And yes, I'm being consistent. And if you're watching this video, you're either going to college or you're just looking back on things that you might want to bring for next semester. So I got a whole list for y'all because best believe I struggled and I looked at a lot of videos and I didn't really pay attention, but I'm telling you, please pay attention to this video, please. So this is my list, y'all. This is my freaking list. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with, you know what I'm saying, with a brand like the essentials, of course. Bed sheets, I always bring extra bed sheets. That's something that I did not do. I had like one extra bed sheet, but I gave it away being stupid. But I definitely would recommend more bed sheets because I did not feel like going down there and washing clothes because it was already too many people. And you know, it's always good to have something extra just change out. Second thing is definitely a rolling basket, y'all. <laughs> I kid you not. Me having to bring up my little, I got a little laundry basket that I just like hold. Worst decision ever. I have way too many clothes. And then when I have like my comforter set trying to wash that, it's like I got regular clothes and my comforter set. So I'm trying to smush it down in there. So definitely bring a rolling basket to tug your clothes in because even if you got stairs, like who gonna wanna be holding all that stuff? You feel me? So definitely a laundry basket that you can roll. I would say a small rug. The bad thing that I did, I brought this big old rug because originally I was supposed to be at FAMU, but we're not going to talk about that. But I bought this big old rug and now I'm having issues because I'm, like, I'm trying to clean it and I really need to wash it. But I don't know. I just feel like the rug was way too big. I should have just got something small so I can wash it easily. <sighs> something major. Command strips. Command strips. Please bring one million command strips because i promise you're gonna be wanting to hang stuff up and if you like me i love my stuff looking girly and cute as you can see by my movie and day vlog like i need a way more command strips because i got some stuff now i want to hang up that i can't even hang up because i don't have no command strips but definitely get you way more command strips than you think you might need because you're gonna need them next i would say a small fan slash heater y'all my air does not work in my room and if I were to call maintenance, they're not going to come until like two weeks or three weeks later. Um, so I'm sitting here. It's hot. It's hot. I need air. Don't have it. So definitely invest in a small fan that you can click on to like the side of your bed and have it blowing in your face and a heater. Because it's cold. It's cold. It be cold, y'all. And my air already don't blow out heat or air. So it's just like whatever temperature it is outside. That's how it is in here. And it's cold now. So y'all see what I'm trying to say. An air fryer. Y'all, my mama just bought me an air fryer. And you can cook anything in an air fryer. And I promise you, you're going to need that. Because if you stay in a room, in a dorm like me, we don't have no kitchen and stuff in here. We have it downstairs. But who going to want to keep going downstairs? Definitely bring your air fryer. Because we had a hot plate, but somebody stole it. So y'all get what I'm saying. Extra towels. Because my towel, if you can see in like... I, I never told y'all what I brought to school. I wish I did. But I got this towel that's able to, like, you know what I'm saying, like, attach. And I could just wear it. But when I get dirty, it's just like, now I got to go wash it. And what I'm going to do tonight. I didn't bring no extra towels. If I did, I don't know what they did. I probably threw them away. I don't know. A over-the-door hanger. As y'all see right here, I hang my stuff up right here. And it's like an over-the-door, like, hanger where you can hang a lot of stuff up on. Please bring that. Because if you have a lot of clothes like me. You're, gonna, you're not going to have any room. And I don't have no command strips. So this is what I got to use. So definitely bring a lot of over-the-door hangers. Extra chargers. I kid you not. I've lost over three chargers or four chargers since I've been at this school. And it's only been, what, about since like four months, five months. And I've lost that many chargers. I'm down to my last two. Okay, I'm back, y'all. So the next one is a full-body mirror. As y'all can see, I have my full-body mirror. Because this mirror over here is about this small and this long. My pictures. So definitely get a, a full body mirror. And I think this was purchased from Walmart from my mama. My mama got it for me. Y'all know when school finna start, they be having a whole bunch of these. So go ahead and get you one and design it how you want to. I ain't care to design it. I mean, it is what it is. 
Um, the next one, I would say a small vacuum. I recently just got a small vacuum for Christmas. I should have got it way before then. I needed it way before then. Because a broom, we ain't got no dustpan. Hmm. Picking it up with paper. Definitely get you a vacuum. Like a smaller vacuum. You know, y'all be seeing them in Dollar General. And y'all can just do it and put it back up on your bed. Okay, my next one I would say is, let me show y'all real quick. Y'all see this? Th my auntie got me this for my birthday. And it's basically like, like, I, I don't know what she got from Doran Co., I guess. And it's like, you can hide all your stuff up on your bed. Like, nobody can look up on your bed and look at your stuff. I don't know. I think it's called bed curtains, I think. Next one, I would say a mini fridge. Um, Definitely get a mini fridge. You know, you may not think you don't need it, but you definitely need it. Just to put your snacks and stuff in because I promise you, when you don't want to use your car to get food or the dining hall nasty like ours is, you're going to need some extra food or some drinks or something when you're thirsty in the night. So definitely bring a mini fridge and talk to your parents about investing in one because it's definitely helped me a lot. Like, I promise you, a lot. This one, a shower caddy. If y'all don't know, you know, I'm at school during COVID and I'm not comfortable enough leaving my stuff on them stalls and stuff like that. So definitely bring you a shower caddy to put your stuff in. Let me show y'all. Cause I actually had it. Oh, see, it's too heavy. Okay. So this is my shower caddy and it got my razors, my soap. And this is my towel y'all that I was talking about that I can strap on me. So definitely bring you a shower caddy to um to bring with you in the bathroom because who want to be taking all that stuff in there and like when you take off your clothes and stuff like you can put it in your shower caddy you know stuff like that this is for the girls please 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 get you some extra pad and tampons i promise you if you don't have a ride or a vehicle like a uber and stuff you know what i'm saying if you know you're not gonna be able to get that stuff Bring extra, bring extra. I'm telling you, bring extra tampons and pads. You're going to need it. Like you're seriously going to need it. I don't know about y'all, but I like to see my. I like to keep myself clean. You know, change every time I can. So definitely, please bring extra pad and tampons because you're gonna run out like this. I promise you. So bring extras. Um, extension cords, y'all. I got one plug. I got one plug with two um little things with two outlets baby what am i doing so far i got a fridge i got a computer i got a lamp so bring you extra like well not bring extra extension cord but bring an extension cord for your phone like they got like two on it for your phone you can put it up by your bed and bring an extension cord by five little outlets on it so you can plug it up did you like that next you're gonna need an umbrella y'all see my umbrella I'm in Valdosta right now, and it be raining out of nowhere. So, bring your umbrella. Have one for your room, in case you forget. Have one for your car, if you have one. And have one in your book bag. You're going to need all three, I promise you, because I needed all three when I was drenched in the rain. Okay. Because that, that hurt me a little bit. Um, Next, bring, like, medicine, like, Advil and stuff like that. You're definitely going to need it because we have a store at our school, like, downstairs. Be taxing. It be taxing y'all. Cause they like y'all need to bring y'all own stuff. So definitely bring you some Advil, Tylenol, especially if you have bad headaches. And if your period cramps, y'all know them heat. I ain't even bringing heat and pad. That's something else I forgot. A heat and pad. Cause baby, definitely that. Um, the next important thing I can really say is a mattress foam pad. They make a big difference. Cause these dorm beds, I promise you, they are not comfortable at all. They're not. They're not. You're gonna need a fam um a mattress foam pad to go over your bed. Like, it makes it feel like a regular bed. Next, I would say a big old suitcase. Like, when you want to go home and pack up your stuff, who finna be bringing five bags? Bring you a suitcase. Like, when you packing and come to college, put half your stuff you want to put in your room in your suitcase. Then as soon as you take it out, that's a free suitcase. And you can put all your extra bags and stuff in there. And then when it's time to pack up and go home, just take them bags out and use that suitcase. And you're good. You ain't got to worry about getting on containers and doing all that. Food supplies. Printer. 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 Please, 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 please get your own printer. Printer. Please get your own printer. I don't know how many times I can stress that enough. Because I love my friends. I really do. 
But when that library ain't working, they be running right over here to my printer. And I thank God my daddy got me one, a printer. But y'all, please invest in you a printer. You're going to need it because who want to walk to the library? Sometimes they don't have no paper. Sometimes they don't have no ink. Sometimes they're not open. Bring your own printer and stack up on ink, definitely. Um, A hole puncher. That's something that I didn't bring and I don't have to this day, but I'm definitely going to go get one because, like, since it's COVID, a lot of teachers give you online work. And that's the most difficult part about being a student during, you know, this time because it's like everything is online and you almost lose track of your work. So I think you printing out that word, you got your own printer, you able to print it out and put it inside of your binder, you know? Um, this is something else, some advice. Be very organized. Be very organized. Y'all, I have my schedule right here. The times when I don't have class, when I don't, if in case I forget, because I did last semester. And I have it right there as well. Have your schedule all over your room. And don't get no 8 o'clock classes. I don't care what your mama say. Something, something that ain't you and you gonna go. My mama said the same thing. I didn't want to go. And half of the time, I did not go. And that was my problem. Don't get no 8 o'clock class. Get at least a 9 o'clock, something like that. Because you're definitely gonna drop that class. And I kid you not, you're gonna drop it. I dropped my class. Because it was that difficult. Getting up in the morning and trying to study. And it was just a hard class overall. But yeah, that's out of the story. Next, a computer and a laptop. Um, my grandfather, he got me a MacBook. Um, I'm blessed and I'm thankful that he did get me that because he didn't have to get me that. Don't matter what type of computer that you have. It don't matter. It ain't got to be fancy. As long as you have your own computer that you can connect Wi-Fi to and you can print off and use Word up. That's all you need. I promise you. And have a little camera on it. So next, I would say get a lot of planners and dividers. Um... Not planners. Did I say planner? Yeah, a planner. Okay, so as y'all see, I didn't already my notebook. So my planner. Wait, what my planner? Is? Okay, my planner is right here. I'm sorry. So this is my planner, and it's a real cute planner I got from Walmart. It got stickers in it, y'all. And if y'all are girly like me, I love stuff like this. And it got you can put your goals, what to do, stuff like that. You know, put the day in my first day of class. Please have a, print, a planner. I didn't have a planner. I needed a planner. The plan. And I didn't. It's notebooks to put in your binder. Binder. Y'all, I can't talk. Please bear with me. So, as y'all can see, I'm girly. Don't joke. I love cute stuff. So, this is my first thing. I promise you. During COVID, I'm saying this because I know a lot of students are going to be going back to school. And this, I don't know when it's going to end, but hopefully it ends soon. But when y'all do go back, and it is still COVID, if, let, if they let y'all go back, you're going to need notebooks like this to write down when the stuff is due and when to write down your notes. Because a lot of these classes are going to be online. And you're going to be like, y'all don't have stuff. They don't print out this stuff, y'all. Y'all have to print out on y'all own. At least... If you don't have a printer, you can write it down and separate it. You feel me? Like, this This would be for one class. Ooh. And then this would be for the second one. And then, you know, I got my dividers. I always have you some dividers. Label them. Label them. Always label them. Yeah, that too. Next, extra mass. Extra mass, extra mass, extra mass. I came here with... 10 masks. I only have two. And I mean, and I just got them from my grandma. I don't know where they went. I don't know where they are. I don't know when the last time I had them. I promise you, you're going to need extra masks. Because I don't know what I did with the mask, y'all. It's like, they just be disappearing. They were so cute, too. Like, bring extra masks. Please, bring extra masks. Like, the black ones, get them. The blue ones, you ain't going to want to wear them with your outfits when you go out, but it's better safe than sorry. I, I promise you. So just, I don't know. Get some cute ones. AirPods. Get you some AirPods. When y'all be at the library, it's going to be the people that don't care and that's going to talk. Have you some AirPods. You know what I'm saying? To drown it out and to listen to something else while you doing your work. And especially if you have a roommate, you're going to need you some earphones while you're on your online class. Because I don't want to hear what Miss Shirley's saying about English 1101 while I'm trying to figure out my human anatomy class. Period. So, yeah, that. Food, y'all. 
get y'all some snacks. A lot of snacks. A lot of snacks. A lot of snacks. I don't know how many times. A lot of snacks. Healthy snacks. Chips. Um, gummy gummies. Like little stuff to snack on. I don't. I can't explain it. I don't know. Just like little stuff to snack on. A lot of little stuff to snack on. Microwavable food. You're definitely gonna need a lot of like freezer food, and you can put it in the, um like the regular part of the refrigerator. But they're gonna have you some food that you can microwave because who wanna go to the dining hall? Half the time, the food don't even be good. So at least it's sometimes good to have you some food in there. Cause who wanna keep spending money? And that's why I messed up. Um, I spent a lot of money when I first came to school. Cause I was okay. I got the money from graduation. I just spend the money on food and eat good, eat seafood, eat time wings, like eating all type of good stuff. But definitely save your money and get you a lot of little food you can have in. Take advantage of your parents taking you grocery shopping before you go. As far as like cold foods, you would want to get that in the city that the college is going to be in. And like snacks and stuff like that, definitely get them in your hometown. Because I promise you, them snacks are going to be gone. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Um, Water, a lot of water, a lot of water, a lot of water. Just a lot of water. You're going to need a lot of water because I didn't drink a lot of water. And I should have a lot of water. Um, I'm trying to think on something else. Uh, air fresheners. A lot of air fresheners. We're not supposed to have candles. But this strawberry pound cake. I wish I could smell it. <sighs> smells so good. It make the room smell good. We ain't supposed to have candles. Please don't tell nobody. Please. But I had it. And I love candles. But bring air freshener job. They real strict on candles. Bring air freshener. And be safe if you don't have a candle. Look, y'all, it's the Marley's gloss for me. Y'all support my friend. Period. Oh, y'all. Did I say storage bins? I don't know if I did. But if I did, you can just get past it. Storage bins. Storage bins. Let me show y'all. Did y'all think I'm playing? Oof, excuse me. Y'all, let me show y'all. Look at that. I just cleaned up, yeah. So look, look at them storage bins. Y'all, y'all gonna need them. Y'all may think y'all not, but y'all gonna need them storage bins. Definitely get storage bins. But yeah, I got this mattress foam pad so y'all can see. It's real thick. I got it off of, I think I got it off of Amazon. But yeah, it's like a mattress foam pad and it, I love it. Um, I'm trying to think of something else, like, oh, y'all, yeah, it's this. This right here, I love this. And you can write on it so you can remember, but definitely stuff, like, you can put on your wall. But that's really the end of my video. If it's any more questions y'all have to ask me about college during COVID and how everything is going, you definitely can DM me on Instagram. My link is going to be in my bio. Um, I love y'all, and I'm trying to be more consistent, as y'all can see, because I'm not playing with y'all. I told y'all. So, um, I love y'all, and I hope y'all have a great semester, and I hope you, you know, stay safe, stay blessed on whatever school you're trying to go to. This is my advice. Don't go to school trying to run behind nobody. Don't do that. Definitely don't. Go to a school that you know you're going to get your education at, that you know you're going to stay focused. Don't run behind nobody. Because that same boy you trying to run behind, he going to do whatever he want to do in college. That ain't the case with me. But I'm just saying in general. Don't don't go to school just for no boy because that's what they going to be. It's going to be plenty more people in college and they don't owe you no loyalty at all. So they're going to do what they want to do. Prioritize yourself. Understand what comes first. Understand why you're here. Don't, I don't know, just think smart. Don't try to be running behind nobody and being in mess. Although this is college, it's a lot of kids here that act like they in high school. But try to be nothing different. Be yourself. It may be a new start, but be yourself. Period. That's all I got to say. I love you all, and I hope y'all have a blessed and wonderful day or weekend, whatever day it is. And that's just on what? Period.